I mean, the village was dead. There was nobody around. So we just decided for us and for the staff to just close up and keep our doors shut. And then, yeah, about a week later, the, the national lockdown happened. Suddenly, silence. So you are in a pub open seven days a week with noise, music, people having a laugh. And suddenly, on a Saturday night, nothing. Mm. <laughs> I'm a really social person as well. You know, I, I, like I said, like I get my energy from people. So suddenly being kind of deprived of any interaction with people, it's, uh, it, it just crushed me. You know, I really, I really, really struggled with it. And I was alone for a lot of it because my life was the pub and it still is. So to reopen as a, to do table service was another job than working behind the bar and be a, a bartender. You had to welcome people. You had to educate people how to wear a mask, how to uh, sanitize their hands. People didn't really want to do that. People didn't want to give us uh, their details. It was a big struggle for us. The thing that always got me was people coming in with a mask, walking up to the bar and then taking off their mask to order. <laughs> Now I think everyone's used to wear a mask, but back then it was all new and people don't really want that when they go out for a pint. They don't want to be told where to sit and told how to drink and told what to do, you know? It, it, it did kind of change people's perceptions of us as well, which was quite hard because suddenly we were the bad guys. And you know, We're quite a limited space, so I think our maximum was six people. And we tried doing takeaway pints in, uh, yeah, in the milk bottles and things like that. We, so we had a new till system to be able to place another on the table. We had to buy a coffee machine. We had to buy so many things, hire more staff because usually we only have people behind the bar, but now we had to have people on the floor. Sometimes it's just not enough for people. People were still frustrated, you know. We were getting asked daily, when's the music back on? When's the bands coming back in? You know, when can we sit at the bar? When can we take off our masks? You know, having to sit outside and things like that. It's great in summer, but as the winter months started coming on, less and less people wanted to stand outside, less and less people wanted to wait outside, you know. It would be amazing if we could at least do takeaway at the bare minimum, because to just be completely shut is torture for us. All the customers who realize actually it was better for them not to drink, so they're not coming to pubs anymore. A younger crowd as well, because people who would come up for live music and have a drink, you know, exclusively for the jazz and things like that. Because we're not doing it, they don't come up anymore. The hardest thing is to think about the future and is, are we going to be able to survive? I try and be hopeful with the pub and I do want to keep it going because it's, it is my life at the moment. It's the biggest part of my life being here. I've, it's changed my life since I've worked here. I've met so many amazing people and I've made a lot of friends and stuff like that. Is it over for the hospitality industry? If the virus is coming back, if there is a new variant every week, are we going to be able to reopen as we used to? Maybe we need to find another job.